So hey guys, I'm sitting here at our home beach. Just take a look at this. There's nobody here. As far as my eye can see here, there's nobody here. No, I should I take that back. There are two people like they look like ants all the way in the distance over there. And here, nobody, nobody. It's a beautiful day, like it's la now. <laughs> it's a beautiful day. <laughs> Sorry. It's a beautiful day. The closest thing I could describe this to you people in North America or Europe is it's, it's, it's a day reminiscent of something you might see in uh, mid-spring, early spring maybe, uh, or mid to late fall. The sky is like deep blue. Uh, the, the temperature is just perfect. It's not hot, it's not cold. The leaves on the trees are kind of orange, about to fall and then re be replaced by uh, fresh growth. It's just absolute, the sand is white. The, the crest of the waves is, the froth is all white. It's absolutely beautiful uh, where I am. But let me show you what I'm drinking. And no, I'm not getting paid by Budweiser. I just want to show you what I'm drinking. Budweiser in Brazil is considered to be a premium beer. And I didn't know that until recently because I would normally drink uh, other brands, European brands maybe. Uh, and Budweiser, if memory serves me right, in, in North America is like a very watery beer. Uh, very watery and it's like, like drinking flavored water. But here it's actually very smooth. It's got a 5% alcohol content, uh, so it ranks right up there with the Heineken's of the world the, and, and other brands. So I've discovered Budweiser all of a sudden to be my go-to beer because, because of the smoothness. Heineken has a strong taste, and I'm not, big, uh, I'm not a big fan of that. Anyway, I'm sitting at the beach, our home beach, and literally, it takes me four minutes to ride my scooter from our home to this beach that you're looking at. Um, and because this shack is closed for the season, uh, this is the perfect place to sit with your back and you have some place to lean and to look out at the ocean and greet people as they go by now and then. I thought I would come here and make a vlog about what we're about to do next month and then more, more importantly what are we going to do after after next month which is september so <coughs> that's what i'm going to talk to you about right now ah good beer no they're not paying me nothing but it's a good beer so next month in the middle of july elsie and i uh, going back to the United States. No, not for good, <laughs> just for a visit. We will be there for two weeks. Uh, the main reason for us to go back uh, in August is because we are going to celebrate my daughter's, what would have been her 31st birthday. As you know from looking at previous videos, my daughter uh, passed away uh, in uh, early December last year in Miami, Florida. She passed away peacefully in her sleep. We still don't know how she passed away. It could have been a variety of things. And um, so her birthday uh, would have been August 21st. So we're gonna go there to celebrate her birthday by her gravesite, to spend a few hours with her by her gravesite, talking to her as if she's still with us, etc., etc. So that's the real reason why we're going. We also need to do a few things. We also do need to. We also need to shop for a few things there that that are not so readily available over here. We also would like to catch up with our friends and family, uh, and we'd like to visit a few things that we miss, like restaurants, diverse restaurants. 
We're gonna be there for two weeks and I promise you for lunch and dinner, each of those 14 days, we're gonna be eating in a different restaurant, in a different cuisine restaurant, whether it's Vietnamese, Thai, Chinese, Indonesian, Ethiopian, you get my point. Because here where we live, we really miss that and I am a through and through foodie. foodie. Uh, so that's what we're gonna do. We're planning a trip to New York City because I have my main camera that I used to vlog with, uh, which was the Sony ZV-1, broke. First the battery door broke and then the lens came out and got stuck and wouldn't go back in. And I bought that camera three years ago and it, it has served me really well. Most of our early vlogs, other than the very first ones, which were shot on a Gro GoPro 9, which I still have, all the other ones where you see bouquet were shot with the Sony ZV-1, the, the first one. Uh, now they have a Sony ZV-1 uh, Mark II. That was Mark I. Hang on. So I, I want to go to B&H Photo in New York City to check out what my options are. They now have a ZV-1 Mark II, which I want to look at. Touch, feel, smell, all that. They also have a Sony uh, Z E10 or something like that, which allows you, which is kind of similar to the ZV-1, but it allows you to take the lens off and you can put interchangeable lenses. Um, I want to check that out. If it's going to be too bulky, I'll pass because I like the idea of having a small footprint and carrying a waist pack and whatever I need to vlog with is in my waist pack. This is being filmed on my iPhone 15 Pro Max. And I've tested this really well. The, audios, the audio is actually, I've got an external wireless mic hooked up to my iPhone and the, uh, the mic is here, the receiver is there. Yeah, right there. And, uh, and I've covered up the, I've got a hiccup here, hang on one sec. Another sip of beer. And I've covered up the name of this microphone manufacturer because, hey, they're not paying me, right? So why should I advertise them to all of you people? When they pay me, I will happily take this off. <laughs> so, but that's the way the audio is going into the iPhone uh, 15 Max, 50 Pro Max. The Sony ZV-1 uh, is... The big question now for us is when I go to New York is, is it going to be something I need to buy or can I just vlog going forward with what I'm vlogging with right now, the, um, the iPhone. And it, the iPhone is only going to get better with each passing year. And it fits in my waist pack and it's multi-task kind of thing. I can do message with it, call with it, go, go to the internet with it. You know, you know what I'm talking about. Uh, but we also want to meet friends that we haven't seen in three years. We want to meet family that we haven't seen in three years. Uh, we just want to kind of take care of some business that we haven't done in, in three years. Uh, I've got some meetings with uh, various people, including my lawyer, uh, since my daughter passed away, etc. So I've, I've got to redo some legal documents. But we will be spending two weeks in America and then coming back to Brazil. <coughs> the big question, the big question is, after we come back from North America in early September, what is it that we're gonna do? You know, we've been here at our farmhouse that we built and it's uh, been 15 months since we've been living here. It's a beautiful little rustic cottage, uh, which you can see if you uh, look at our previous videos, many, many of them from the time we started building it to the time it was done. It's perfect for two people, Elsie and I. We have a very small swimming pool in front of our front door. We have an atelier on the other side for larger gatherings. We have tons and tons of fruit trees, uh, plants, flowers, all that. And within a four minute uh, scooter ride to the beach, to this beach. So the thing is, I'm a city person. I've lived all my life in cities, in modern 
cities. And I've traveled to almost 30 countries in my life. Uh, and I speak multiple languages. Agora eu falo português também. Não fluente, mas suficiente para conversar com você, com você, com ele, com ela. <laughs> so, I am looking for something different to do than to just plant my feet in this place and just spend the rest of my life here. And Elsie and I have been talking about this, and Elsie and I are just so super close together. She loves it here, but she has said to me, you know, I'm totally with you. If you want to uh, just lock this place up or rent it out to somebody or give it to a family member to house it for us, let's just get going. We could uh, either take the combi van, which has given us problems, but it's soon going to be fixed, uh, along with Bella, and the three of us can travel all over the place in Brazil, other countries in South America, etc. Uh, or we can just uh, park the combi and go spend a month in Europe, in one country, uh, another month in another country, go to India where my mother lives, spend a couple of months there traveling, go to Vietnam. I love the food from Vietnam, China. I would love to explore China, etc., etc. Right? We've got options beyond just staying put in one place. So this update is really about that. The fact that next month we're going off to to the United States uh, after three years here, and then after we come back, what is it that we're going to do? You help us. Why don't you tell me, Elsie and me, what is it that we should do? You know, many people wish to have adventure in their lives. And uh, I, more so than Elsie, do. Uh, and when we first came here, that was our game plan, adventure, travel. But then we built this house and we've kind of found grass growing around our feet. And it's time to maybe become adventurous again. So you tell us, you tell me, and I'll pass it on to Elsie, what it is that you would like to see us do. You know, I'm 63 in August next month. Elsie is six or seven years behind me. Um, we're not that old yet to where we need to just, you know, sit in one place and take naps all day. No, we've still got enough youth, energy, vibrance left in, in both of us, especially me because I'm older than her, to go explore. And when the time comes to settle down, then we always have this place with this magnificent uh, seafront not so far from us. And this is where we can spend our, the rest of our days. Uh, you tell us, what would you like for us to do? What would you recommend? if you were in our shoes for us to do. Um, <laughs> right? What else? Um, the weather here is perfect right now. We're in, uh, today is the 16th of July. Wow, it's another five days would be a three year anniversary for having come down to, to uh, to Brazil from, from the US. We, we flew down from Miami to Sao Paulo on the 21st of July, 2021. The main reason we are going to America, uh, maybe I mentioned it, I don't know, is to see my daughter. No, I think I mentioned this. Cut, so cut this part out, Pepe. Cut this part out, so. When we come back in September, it will be summer, the start of summer here in the Southern Hemisphere, South America. A lot of people go driving to the very tip of South America with the goal of arriving there in December because that is the peak of summer down there, very close to the, uh, the South Pole. That's the closest city, I believe, inhabited city in Southern Argentina. Uh, that uh, flights take off from to the South Pole. 
so the peak of summer down there is uh, is December so we have many friends that have been talking about driving down there and maybe we'll partner up with a few of them and uh, and go down there there's always safety in numbers you know especially if one of us breaks down there, there's two other people uh, two, uh, two or three other vans alongside that can uh, help if not moral support if nothing else um, so we might very much come back and pack our bags lock up the house or rent it out or whatever and just become adventurous for a year I've even thought about you tell me if I'm crazy going all the way from where we are in northeast Brazil driving all the way to the southern tip of Argentina the southern tip of South America um, and then starting from there along the Pacific Coast Highway which is the longest drivable road in the world from the southern tip of Argentina all the way up to Alaska and going through you know Chile going through uh, Peru Ecuador etc etc Central America Mexico into North America all the way up the Pacific uh, into uh, British Columbia uh, Alaska after that that would be one heck of an adventure for Elsie and I and Bella and now that Bella has gotten all her shots she's getting her rabies in a few days she'll be good to go anywhere uh, we will just have to update them uh, for each country as we get ready to cross the border and we know that by watching other youtubers who have animals and how they're, they're doing it it's not so complicated but wow we spent a year doing that that'd be kind of amazing right it'd be something we can always remember our, our moments by right because everybody's gonna get old and everybody's gonna retire we retired early uh, thank you God for giving us that opportunity but everybody's gonna retire and get old not everybody is going to do what we have already done and what I'm proposing that we might do uh, because you know life is short if I can learn anything from the death of my daughter who was only 30 years old when she passed away in her sleep we have no idea how she passed away she just didn't wake up the next day it could be a number of factors and she was only 30 years old so if that can happen to a young dynamic 30 year old woman it can happen to any one of us anytime so what I've learned is you got to live your life for today you cannot live your life oh I'm gonna pay off this house because I took a 30-year mortgage at the age of 40 well big mistake or I bought this fancy car that I shouldn't have bought and I got to pay for it for seven years big mistake or I took my entire family on this vacation that we couldn't afford and we put everything on a credit card big mistake just go adopt a simple life like Elsie and I have done you know get rid of all your debts nobody needs fancy cars fancy houses that banks own you really don't own nothing because tomorrow if you stop paying guess who's gonna come knocking on the door the banks they're gonna take your car away take your house away you own nothing unless it's paid off so the real wealthy people in this world as I've seen are the ones that live in paid off houses drive paid off cars take paid off vacations and live simple lives right uh, so that's the lesson I learned from the death of my daughter life is short nothing is for granted go live your life become adventurous do the things that you want to do without caring about other people's opinions um, Oh, I'm seeing a car drive on the beach. Woo. Okay. Yeah. So that's that. Wow, this beach is beautiful. Really beautiful. And it's our home beach. <laughs> we see this every day. You know, the sad thing is even paradise gets to become boring. We've been here 15 months. I think it's high time for us to travel again 
And when we cannot travel anymore, then this life, this home will always be here waiting for us. Right? You let us know what you think. You let us know. Okay? Thank you for, so thank you for, and by the way, thank you for supporting our channel. We, we came here, started this channel with nothing, and it has grown to what it's grown. And thank you to all of you from all around the world that watch us and comment. We love comments, by the way, because we love to take the time to respond to each and, one of, each and every one of you. Um, you let us know what you think we should do next. Right? Next month we off, we're off to the US, then we come back to Brazil. What would you like for us to do next? If you were in our shoes, in our boat, what would you like for us to do? And I'll pass it on to Elsie, who's not here today. Right? Thank you. Thank you for being subscribers, friends, family, all of you. We'll wait to hear from you. Bye.